Welcome back. I'm Stan Ray from the U.S. Education Team, and this is the third and final part of a three-part presentation focusing on the Power Platform for Education. I like to think of this as the big reveal, the empower portion of our Catalyst journey. We'll look at examples of a model-driven app, a Power Platform portal, and a Canvas app configured for school employees. This is all built upon the data model we were working on in part two of the presentation. We'll then look at other Power Platform technologies by doing a tour through Power BI, Power Virtual Agents, and Customer Voice. We'll discuss Outlook integration, Teams integration, and then wrap up with some resources your organization can use to get up to speed on the Power Platform. Let's get started. The first of our three end user experiences is the web interface. We are now looking at the model driven app I called employee resources. This is the back end experience as if we were supporting employees and assisting them day to day on all the processes that touch employees. We looked at the sitemap editor earlier in the presentation to deliver this navigation tree. We use the account entity to model a school and display all its related records. This is our school directory and all our data is neatly organized and displayed to the needs of the school. Employees, cases, employee request records, time off requests and more. The possibilities are endless with model driven apps. Clicking through to our employee Jennifer Dobson, we use the contact table to model an employee. Then we surround the employee record with a variety of out-of-box and custom tables necessary to execute our processes. If we look at the timeline, we can see all touch points with Jennifer by everyone across the enterprise, as well as information about surveys sent to Jennifer to solicit her feedback. Time entries, cases, employee requests, teaching certificates and endorsements can all be tracked and managed using model-driven apps. Each of these child records is linked to the employee and can have their own set of activities to aid in collaboration and execution for each process. This form, and this entire app for that matter, is delivered via designer without any coding necessary. Next, let's look at the employee experience by navigating to the employee portal. The second experience we'll dive into now is that of the Power Platform portal. Here we're looking at an example of an employee portal where a host of different processes can be initiated. Using Azure Active Directory, we are logging in as employee Jennifer Dobson. Some customers prefer a portal experience as opposed to a bunch of separate apps running on an employee's phone. The portal has a built-in search capability that searches both the knowledge base and all the portal page content. Within a single article, you can see how many times the article has been viewed. You can rate the article from one to five stars, leave a feedback comment, and even print it. Our employee, Jennifer, can open a new case and view historical ones she has previously opened. Built-in deflection upon case creation helps reduce workload on the school's employee support staff. Our employee, Jennifer, can create time entries, open employee requests, and manage her teaching certificates and endorsements. This saves the school time and money with no more paper pushing and PDF storage. The documents have all been transformed into living, breathing records that the employee can create, view, and interact with. In the background, Power Automate flows are firing to notify people involved and automate the processes being launched when a record is created on the portal. Besides being inherently more efficient with the overall processes, it makes employees happier to be able to self-serve and be updated on the various requests they are making in one location. Now let's have a look at another way to interact with employees, this time using a Canvas app. Our third user experience is that of a Canvas app. This app could be installed on an employee's mobile device. The app allows employees to create and review existing time entry and employee request records. 
The app utilizes the same underlying Dataverse as was used for the model-driven app in the portal. All three user experience options touch the exact same database and data model. It doesn't matter which of the three methods people use to create and manage these records, the underlying process is executed the exact same way. This provides ultimate flexibility to the school on how they want to engage their employees. Now let's touch on some of the companion technologies within the Power Platform. Power BI is our data and AI analytics solution in a pillar of the Power Platform. All you need to do in the tenant is open Power BI, connect to Dataverse by entering the URL for the instance, and you are connected. You'll select the entities and relationships between those entities that you'll use, and then you're free to start building reports and dashboards. All these tabs surface data tied to running the school and supporting employees. These reports and dashboards can be accessed standalone or embedded within an app, a portal, or within Microsoft Teams. We can visually render our data, understand it better, and take action to improve how we are serving employees. The virtual agent provides an automated no-touch experience to provide targeted help to employees and provide them with a wealth of information. This bot can be authored and edited by business subject matter experts using a guided no-code graphical interface like the one we see here. One of the key capabilities is that the virtual agent can connect with Power Automate flows, allowing you to surface Dataverse records and create new ones as part of the bot experience. The virtual agent bot can then be placed wherever suits your needs, a website, portal, Microsoft Teams, even a mobile app. In our example, we have created a bot for our employees to help answer their questions. The employee wants to know more about their teaching certificate details, but all they know is the certificate number. A flow takes this number entered on the bot, calls the Dataverse database, and finds the certificate, returning additional fields of information back into the bot. It's this ability to execute processes, call existing database records, and create new ones that makes the agent experience so compelling and helpful to the employees. Customer Voice is our survey tool that operates seamlessly in our tenant and integrates with all the technologies we have walked through today. The application provides the ability to capture sentiment about how people felt about a process they recently participated in or their overall sentiment on any topic related to the school. It's integrated with Power Platform and Dynamics out of the box and can also be deployed standalone to work with Office 365. The Survey Designer is very user-friendly and it's easy to design and deploy surveys. This survey example solicits employee feedback on the content and functionality offered on the employee portal. Survey send results and responses are compiled and displayed in the reporting section of the survey itself. We are in the Outlook email composition screen of Office 365. We've installed the app for Outlook that allows for seamless integration with our Dataverse database. With the click of a button, I'm able to open the employee record we have seen earlier in this presentation. I can choose to track this outbound transactional email into my Dataverse database with a single click. I can also track appointments and tasks in the same way. Another powerful feature is the ability to search knowledge base articles and embed the article directly in the body of an email with a single click. This allows for the sharing of instructions, procedures, protocols, service offerings, and more quickly and efficiently. Your knowledge base can contain details about all the courses, products, and services your school or department offers in addition to traditional support topics. Microsoft Teams usage continues to grow as this powerful collaboration tool continues to gain traction with educators. With the Power Platform, a Power App can easily be embedded within Teams. In this screen, we have a channel with a view of all employee cases, a channel for our employee Jennifer Dobson, and a channel displaying a view of all the Williams School employees. 
from the list of employees, we can drill into employee Jennifer's record and make edits directly within the model-driven app from inside the team's experience. Okay, so we've seen all sorts of great technology, but what were the business benefits realized by Williams School by deploying the Power Platform? First and foremost, employee satisfaction is on the rise. Employees are being supported better than ever before, especially in these turbulent times. Self-serve options via the portal and virtual agents are great for employees juggling a busy schedule. Retiring old technology and moving to the Power Platform is saving licensing costs and keeping application delivery costs down. The single greatest achievement, though, is agreeing upon a data model and data estate that represents the business entities, employees, students, and core records needed to run their business. Once that was in place, it made app building and delivery a much more rapid and user-friendly experience. Their processes are agile, digital, and easily reportable. Both the application designers and the application consumers are so happy with the technology, Williams School has already established their own center of excellence and are building a foundation for governance of their environments. Security is handled through Azure Active Directory and the safeguards provided by Microsoft 365. We can control access to apps and portals, utilizing security roles and web roles included with model-driven apps. This limits functionality and governs the data that is surfaced in the app experiences. Williams School learns from their data now, and the school acts from insights to improve operations and better deliver services to employees and all their constituents. By virtue of deploying on the Microsoft Cloud, they are meeting their compliance objectives and have built-in auditing via the Dataverse database. Utilizing the Power Platform, we can bring to life what used to be simple document templates, now wrapping activities, approvals, and workflow around a process, and improving efficiencies along the way. We are retiring manual processes with time-saving, paperless automation available anytime, anywhere, from any device. Using Power Automate and virtual agents, we are streamlining processes and getting people help faster and easier than ever before. All these solutions are engineered to work seamlessly out of the box. This means that Williams School's investment is maximized and critical data is freely shared among the applications. Williams School is poised for growth and are deploying agile processes that can be easily modified as business circumstances change. This slide provides helpful links to learn more and join the Power Platform communities. These links are for both app building as well as Power Platform administration. I have further added the GitHub link for the Education Industry Accelerator. Finally, I want to emphasize all the great free learning content available on the Microsoft Learn site. Create a profile for yourself, bookmark some courses, and start learning. Be sure to watch the other films in this three-part series, as well as other content on the Biz Apps for Education YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this presentation. It's been exciting to show you around the Microsoft Power Platform in the lens of education. The Education Business Applications team is constantly having conversations with educators around modernizing processes. We would love to hear from you. Reach out to me, Stan Ray, directly via email at stanray at microsoft.com. You can also reach out to our broader team via the alias educrm at microsoft.com. Thanks and enjoy your school's digital transformation.